Good morning, Internet. So today we're going to talk about female narcissists. These narcissists are more difficult than male narcissists because female narcissists don't have um, an end game other than attention, but you don't know what kind of attention that is. Female narcissists are very, very dangerous because you don't know where they're coming from. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know when they're going to change their mind. You don't know when they're going to keep the same idea. Now, before we get into it, I want to clarify something. There is a difference between a female narcissist and a quote unquote bitch. Some men get this mixed up. Um, because... <laughs> When a woman is secure in herself, when a woman knows what she wants, and when a woman won't settle for male games, she's automatically a bitch or a narcissist. This is further from the case. She just doesn't want to deal with any BS. A female narcissist is different. A female narcissist um, is trying to get what you got and basically leave you hanging out to dry. I know this is going to sound very basic and I apologize. But there is a reason why so many men, straight men at least, run away from women who are quote unquote uh, strong, independent women, but they go to baddies, aka bad bitches, bad chicks, is because female narcissists are typically your average bad chick. She knows how to make a man feel like a man. She knows how to make him look good in front of his peers. And she also knows how to basically rob him blind. But these are the women that men are attracted to. And then when they end up having a broken heart because they fell in love with a the narcissist, they want to blame women who actually have their shit together and basically lump them into one bucket. Now, I'm not saying women don't do this either. Okay. Women fall in love with narcissists and they think that good guys don't exist. Um, and for the men who say, I'm a good man, you're a narcissist too. I'm just going to call you like that. Good men don't declare themselves. They just do the work. But for the fellas, I want you to know what is a female narcissist. Now, she could be pretty. She could not be pretty. She could be this. She could be that. But I want you to know because obviously, if you're listening to this and you don't know, you haven't had your priorities in check. Um, this isn't an insult to you. It's just that unfortunately, a lot of men fall for female narcissists because they think that these are the women who are in game, which in fact, these are the women who are going to destroy you and basically make you take the red pill. First, female narcissists are charming, beautiful, but these are not like men. Female narcissists knows what men want to see because they know that men think about sex first. So this is going to be your woman who is going to be very, very quote unquote feminine. Now, there's a huge feminine movement going on and I'm not against it because I feel that a lot of women aren't narcissistic enough. They give a lot of narcissistic men too much, but then there's those women who are intentionally predatorial. Um, these are the women that you see at basketball games. Um, the women that you see at clubs, the women that you see basically wearing red bottom shoes, um, your baddies, your bad bitches, um, they look good. They have expensive weaves and lace fronts. Um, <clears throat> they wear only the best. Um, they demand the best and there's nothing wrong with that, but these are the women who have no substance, but only looks. Narcissistic women are extraordinarily manipulative, extraordinarily manipulative. It is always someone else's fault. It is always your fault. It is always the weather's fault. It is always somebody's fault, but it's never their fault. And they know how to play people against each other. So typically, you know who a narcissistic woman is with her group of friends. Is she the hottest friend in the group? Oh, oh, there goes your narcissist because she knows how to manipulate women around her who aren't settled in themselves and 
make herself look like she's the prize and the rest of them look like they're ugly ducklings, which could be further from the truth. But she intentionally surrounds herself with uglier people, homelier people, so then she can basically be on top. And she manipulates these women into thinking that they're friends. This is the woman who will not be friends with you if you lose weight or if you get a better job or if you get a better man. In fact, this is the woman who's probably going to try to steal your man. Needy. Most narcissistic women are needy. They need people around them. They need to know that they are the most beautiful person in the room where male narcissists worry about being important. Female narcissists worry about being validated for their beauty. They are so needy for validation. If they're attractive, if they're beautiful, you know, if they're so beautiful, um, and it doesn't matter their age. So you can have your baddies now, you can have your cougars later, but these are the women who are so needy that they need to have someone validate them. Overt narcissistic women are petty and evil. Now, I will admit that I am petty. I'm very, very petty. Petty is as petty does, I say. But I don't go out of my way to be petty on purpose. I am petty in defense. I am petty in vengeance. But I don't start drama just because I'm bored. I have hobbies, but narcissistic women, they don't have hobbies. Their hobbies is starting drama for no reason. So you might get into a fight for no reason. Who's that bitch you talking to? Could be your mama. Um, who, uh, who is she? Where you been? Blah, blah, blah. Now, if you're a cheating, lying scumbag, you basically got a crazy woman in your hands and that's your fault. But if you know you've been on the up and up and she just starts drama for no reason, you got yourself a narcissist. Narcissistic females are horrible with money, just as male narcissists are, because they feel entitled that they need whatever they need right now. Um, and usually their money does not go to anything legit. So, you know, you see those chicks who look super, super good, but they have like a concrete slab bed that's on the floor and their bathroom is disgusting and they have a flat screen TV, but it's on like two barrels. Oh, well, but she looks good. That's a narcissistic woman who's not good with her money. She's spending all her money on her and she's not spending her money on anything else. This is the kind of woman who's like, she looks super good and she wants you to buy her, you know, expensive ass dinners on the first date. Now there's nothing wrong with that if she knows her worth, right? If she knows her worth, cool, but you'll know the difference because if you guys go out on an expensive date, at least a woman who's not narcissistic will offer to pay half the bill. She won't pay the whole bill, but she'll see if you are going to be a man enough and say, no, I wanted your company, so I'm going to pay the bill, but she will offer. A narcissistic woman won't offer at all. She'll actually say this wasn't expensive enough. Narcissistic women are entitled. If she's not the prettiest, if she's not the loudest, if she's not the baddest bitch in the room, if she's not the most beautiful woman in the room, um, then there's a problem. And she's going to make sure that that problem is solved because she's most important. She will always come first. You can't have a life with a narcissistic woman because she's going to want to know where you are all the time. As I said before, if you're a cheating, lying scumbag, well, this is what you get. But if you honestly are legit and you just want your own life, you want to play your own sports, you want to have your own hobbies, you're working late and she's always accusing you. And she's always saying you don't put her first. That's a narcissistic woman. Narcissistic women are self-centered. You've already gone this far. You already know the world is about them. It's not about anyone else. And that's just the end of it. Narcissistic women needs validation 24-7. Now, we are now in the age of the internet where narcissistic women can go to Instagram, they can go to Snapchat, they can go to TikTok, um, they can go to For the Fans to get their validation fix, right? Uh, narcissistic women are the women who are going to show off for free and not do it for pay. Like I have respect for sex workers, right? If you're a stripper or you're an escort or whatever you are, but you're like, I want to get paid for my work, cool. Narcissistic women don't want to get paid. Narcissistic women are paid in likes and DMs. They literally will do this 
because they just want the attention. Money comes later, but attention is super first. That's how you know that you're dealing with a narcissistic woman because, you know, sex and beauty is a business, right? It's the oldest profession in the world. The women who are trying to get theirs and actually make a living, that is something that's respectable. A woman who is literally showing her butt cheeks and making them clap on an Instagram feed, that's how you know you have a narcissistic woman. Now, you may ask, what makes these women so dangerous? It's because they're so insecure and so empty inside that they are willing to destroy you and anyone else around you so that you won't see the true them. These are the women who never get married, or if they do get married, they are typically married to older men. They're typically married to men who are narcissistic as they are, and these men can't get any better, and the women marry them for the money. So there you go. If you are looking for a woman that you want to take care of, if you're looking for a princess, totally get a female narcissist, but it's not going to go well for you. It really won't because she'll cheat on you and do all this other stuff sooner or later because she's a narcissist. You're never going to be enough. No matter how beautiful she is or whatever, she's never going to stay loyal. You'll never be enough. Um, all right, internet, that's it. I'm going to take my coffee. Talk to you later.